Okay, it is February 13th, 2017. It is 7.01. Tonight is the Halifax Finance Committee meeting. Um, on the agenda tonight, we have mail, reserve fund transfers, meeting minutes, Halifax Elementary budget discussion, update from liaisons, approval of budgets, review of calendar, public participation, and adjournment. Um, so, for mail, we received a copy of the beacon. If anybody would like to read it, we can pass it around, or we can read it on the website. We received a email from Kathy Drynan the, from the Board of Health. Hi Kendra, please let the Finance Committee know that I have received the price for the landfill monitoring. The price is for three years once again, as it was previously, except for last year's was a one-year contract. The price came in. Hi, uh, the price came in higher per year, so I questioned it. Last year it was twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. This year's proposal is for forty-five thousand seven hundred dollars for three years, or fifteen thousand two hundred and thirty-three per year. They explained that for the pricing, the groundwater sampling events from FY eighteen to twenty costs are the same as FY seventeen at five thousand. $650. The land fill gas increased by $50 per event over three years, or 6% from the 2017 cost. I reduced the land fill gas monitoring from $875 to $850 in the two biennial reports from $875 to $800, which reduced the overall fee by $650. The biggest increase in the biennial reports that are submitted every other year not included in the FY17 proposal. This was an increase of $225 from the FY14 to 16 submittal, 700, uh, sorry, $975 to $750. I will reduce this cost I will reduce this cost to reporting cost to $800 per report per report and reduce the overall contract by $350. I am pleased with the performance, timeliness, and communication. I am submitting the price of $15,233 per year for the budget, which is less than the $20,000 submitted. Please let me know if you have any questions. So that's the only mail that we received. Uh, we received a copy of the budget spreadsheet from Sandy. Um, I did miss the last meeting. Um, and I missed the elementary school meeting as well because I flared up my back pain again. So I don't have an update for that. Do we have meeting minutes? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can vote the ninth date or not. But no, can we I have meeting we minutes that's last, last week's. Meeting. Okay, so we have meeting minutes from. Monday, February 6, 2017. Mel, Stu, Diane, Melinda were present. Um, has everyone that was at the meeting had a chance to review mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to approve as printed? I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I abstain, seeing that I wasn't here. <coughs> We can't do the other? I don't believe so. No. Okay. Yeah, Linda's required. Okay. So, no reserve fund transfers? No. Mail. Okay. Um, so, I do not have an update for you on the elementary school budget. I will have to have that for the next meeting. I can tell you that the Civil Lake meeting was canceled. That was due to be Thursday. So I have not heard when it was rescheduled to. Have you heard yet? So the three town meeting was proposed to be tomorrow night, of which I said, yeah, I would not make a Valentine's night meeting. Um, but then we didn't have Silver Lake, so I didn't bother forwarding that information on to everyone to see what you guys' thoughts were on that. So we're not going to have the three town meeting until at least we get Silver Lake's numbers because it really doesn't make sense. 
So that'll probably be on the fly. Call people and find out if you're available that night. Um, so any update from liaisons? Well, I met with um, Jean Gallant. Um, we discussed it at the last meeting about her um, budget. Okay. switch to capital items for well she has it under extra purchasing. funds I think that's the one the yeah, extra funds. funds oh that's not the one yeah. there's two of them okay. $13,050 um, so normally what we have done is when there is a difference in that line they have spent that money on capital items. Mm -hmm. And she met with the capital planning committee and she did talk about some of the same things. Okay. She's not asking for anything extra. She will, um, any computers or anything that she was planning on buying, she will take out of that, her those. expense budget. Okay. And um, I can't remember if there was anything else she said she did on capital, but she's planning on doing the same thing and returning what she can also. Okay. That's been the process okay. over the, the last number of years of when they've had to make up for salaries, they've taken it out of other lines, and when their sal salary lines have decreased, uh, one of the library staff members left in the middle of a year, mm -hmm. so they had extra funds where they'd stepped down again, so that has been the process. Um, so did you guys vote on that line already? No, we didn't vote on it. I don't think we voted on that line, did we? I don't think so. I think we did. No, we didn't let us vote on anything that wasn't absolute yeah. level funded. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Those were the directions. Good job. <laughs> Where we are now, without having Silver Lake, I mean, we can vote them, but we, and the library is probably going to be fine. But other lines, we might not want to vote. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Sandy was good enough to mark right, the approved that lines. I said was approved yeah. on January sixth. Actually, was approved on February sixth. Mm. So I'll make that <laughs> It was approved before it was submitted. When you guys went through the budget last week, was there anything else that jumped out? Stu brought up one good one, the water department. Um, last year we increased from 25000 to 100000 and they're asking for the same 100000 this year. And maybe that's something we discuss mm -hmm. under the tower and wells maintenance. Line 107. Okay. I do not recall last year what we. One of the issues is the impact well, because that well has to be refurbished right now. They're getting, they're having the, their engineer looking and doing a, um, a study on it. And last year they were really afraid that the filters were going to fail and that could be very expensive. So they put extra money in the budget last year. And this year I know they wanted to start that, pro you know, they possibly project. start that project. So. Okay, so. I think that might be why they kept it up at 100. I 
guess we would note on your minutes that I think Linda's the was it Linda or was it? it might be it's not me. I, think, I, think I thought me. I dropped water. Maybe it was. Maybe I have water. Yeah, I Capital. I had the leaders on list in my hand and I think I said, no, nah, we don't need that. Well, we can just Either way. note that we need to have them come in and talk to us. So water department? Yeah. He, he's yeah. Do you want to just make a meeting with them? Just, just have a them. principal a plug number like that, which scares me. Yeah. Yeah. Insurance numbers we had okay, talked about. I put in the increase on the, ins the group insurance as a command One of the things that you saw, even though a lot of the policies they had a high increase, estimated high increase percentage, the Medicare ones went down. So it sort of offset. We have quite a number of retirees. Those policies are going down, so even though some are going up a lot. Okay. So that's the number, um, the one million sixty-seven thousand. Okay, because I know the last meeting and that. You can see I put the little comment box originally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's when yeah, they have their meeting. Yeah. Now, will those change too, Sandy? When um, people pick the new plans for the fiscal year? Well, those are those are the estimated new mm -hmm. fiscal year prices. based on what everybody has for a plan right now. Right. Okay. Right. So, what happens? Charlie goes to these meetings and tries to keep a, an idea of how much they're going to increase. They mm -hmm. usually have a pretty good idea by the end of March what the increase is going to be. And then Linda goes through and figures all the current plans. And then we estimate a couple of extras just in case, a couple of extra family plans just in case. Mm -hmm. And usually it's that big. So. Okay. Um, so we really need to get Silver Lake's number in the budget. Before we yeah, have a real understanding of where we are, uh, any other liaison updates? I've, I've talked to both Bob and uh, Barbara um, Kessel on the aging and highway. And, uh, Bob said he is level funded, except he's got a 1250 increase on his expense line, um, which needs an explanation. And I presume that the increase on the wage line is step increases. Okay. Otherwise, he's level funded. Okay. And I you know, talked to Barbara Brenton, and uh, you know, Castle on Aging is, is pretty pretty level. Um, of course, everything is hanging in the wind with regard to you know what what they're going to do facility-wise. There was, there, there, uh, on the uh, highway's budget sheet on their expense, mm -hmm. there is a comment, there was an increase in, to the uniform allowance in the contract from 600 to 850 per year, an additional 250 per employee is added to the uniform allowance line item budget. So five employees, 125. Uh, 1,250. So that's the increase that 
so speaking of facilities, um, did you guys talk about the elementary school? We did. You did? Last week we did. Charlie spoke on it and okay. um, basically gave us the dates, kind of the raw numbers. Uh, obviously there's the informational meeting this Wednesday yep. and then the special town meeting coming up next month. I don't have the exact date off the top of my head. Seventh, I believe. Um, no real um, opinions were formed, but just basically general discussion of the numbers. Okay. Seventh at seven thirty. really sure that the town really has a choice other than to do the work the roof needs to be fixed um, you could argue that you don't have to do the windows and the siding but if you're gonna do the roof and you know this issues with the siding you know there's issues with the windows I don't like the cost of it I don't think anybody likes the cost of what the project is but I'm not really sure what else can be done we've been I know that I've been asking for information on the roof since 2010 because we knew that it was leaking they did some repairs on it we've been pushing for this and it's taken a number of years to get through the process to get to this point in time so I don't like the increase but I don't think we have much of a choice guys feel yeah I think it's a tough tough pill to swallow but I think it's going to be a lot easier than if we don't vote it as a town what we're going to be faced with in 10 years uh, where we're looking at a even more significant project without where there's a good chance that if this if the town says no we don't support this the next time we go for the grant that we're put at the back of the bus the state says no you've already kind of we already said we would do this but your town said no why are you coming to us again uh, I think this is a pretty decent reimbursement rate uh, as tough as a tough a pill as it is to swallow it's kind of one we kind of have to do there's an informational meeting about this on Wednesday, Wednesday of this week this week people should come it will be probably nice to have finance committee I will try to make it. I do have a conflict that night, but let's see if I can come. Um, Sandy, where is that meeting? It's going to be over at the elementary school. <coughs> okay. In yeah. the general purpose room? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if it gets voted down, then the only other thing we can do is piecemeal the roof in sections. And then piecemeal the siding and piecemeal the windows over a number of years. I, I don't know. Which, as everybody knows, is going to be a much more expensive fix in the long term. Right. Yeah, I mean, once you put two roofs to come together and you only do one section, you know. The next time you touch it, it's going to cost you to do that much more to do it again, to set it up. And uh, I don't know. I don't think anybody's happy with the, the increase of $150 on the average home for the next 20 years to pay for it. Um, what else to, can we cover tonight? You guys went through and did basically every line that was leveled? Mm -hmm. With the exception of um, salary stuff okay. um, that's going to be subject to wage and personnel. Um, How about, um, should we schedule Jerry to come in just to talk about the buildings? Yeah, I think just to have him idea. come in and give us an update on the buildings. We, we normally do yeah. that. Okay. 
just to see where he is in his plan. Um, how about a joint meeting with the capital plan? Yeah, capital plan uh, met tonight, kind of put together all their, um, their wish list, so to speak. Um, we'll be meeting in two weeks to kind of finalize um, kind of order of importance uh, and then come to you after that. Okay, so, so I think about a month from now? I would say within a month we'll be ready to uh, present. Okay. Um. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, just so that you'd be able to hopefully make recommendations before. Yeah. Because we go to press. The only other thing on the town meeting warrant that has it already gone to print, Charlie? Which the warrant. Is yeah. Yeah, it's it's at the It's in the south but I think. Okay. Um, one question I had about the Silver Lake land deal. Is it possible that the selectmen from Plimpton and Halifax would discuss getting a second appraisal on the property? I'm not trying to be funny or anything to be talked about. I mean, the board did not talk to me about it. Obviously, the towns would have to come up with money to do it. So I can talk to the okay. Would be something that I would think that would be information to have at that meeting. Possibly a reserve fund transfer from us. Because. Okay. I personally, personally don't know that that's the best use of funds because my objection is not the value that we're selling the land for whatever, for X, if we get X plus 10%, still not interesting because the long-term ramifications of selling this property is what I'm object objecting to personally. And I think it's will hamstring us going forward if we have a need to do something at Silver Lake uh, by not having that frontage. I'm of the same opinion, but I think that the appraisal was done a few years ago. And the appraisal came back at $250,000 for a five acre no. piece of property in Kingston. And I'm pretty sure a buildable lot is at least $250,000 in Kingston. So, just like to ask the selectmen if they would support that. Possibly splitting the cost with Kingston. I mean, uh, with Plimpton. So I would maybe we can wait till Linda gets here next week, or we can vote it at town meeting. But I'm going to vote not to recommend as well to sell the land. It's a non-binding question, but that's going to be my vote. Um, anything else that we can cover tonight, Charlie or Sandy? Is there anything that no, um, I'm going to have a reserve fund transfer for the law account when you guys have a meeting with us. Be gentle. Um, we're doing the uh, we've, at, we've invited everybody from the employees of the working personnel to come to the intro sessions tomorrow, uh, Thursday. So, yes. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow's Tuesday, not Wednesday, but Thursday. Um, so that's up and running. Okay. Okay. Nothing that you can think of, Sandy? So, other than discussing with your liaisons, um, the department heads, I would think that everyone has a chance to talk about their budgets and we'll see if we can't schedule some people to come in. So if Keith is yeah, 
to reach come in. Reach out to Keith and Jerry and try and get them on the 27th. Because yeah. that's our next meeting, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Motion? Anyone? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. Oh, <laughs> we, we forgot to tell them what happened. Yes. It's no longer street. It's no longer street. It's, no street. Street. it's mine. Oh, really? Yes. I'm yeah, the 4 a.m. person now. <laughs> it's it's oh, the I've early bird that's I've been the 4 a.m. person for quite a few years. I'll second it. Okay, I'll make a motion. I'll second it. 7.30 to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Excellent.